Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 8, Problem Set. Let's take a look at number 1. In the table below, list each set of rational numbers from greatest to least. Then, in the appropriate column, state which number was farthest right and which number was farthest left on the number line. So I'll slide it up a little bit so we can take a look at that first one. Negative 1 and 75 hundredths, and negative 3 and 25 hundredths. So what I'll do, um, just for this first one, is I'll draw a number line to show it. There's 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. And I know that negative 1 and 75 hundredths is between negative 1 and negative 2, more towards the negative 2 side because it's past the halfway point. So there's my first label, and then I see negative 3 and 25 hundredths. It's between 3 and 4, and it's a little closer to 3 because it's not quite to the halfway point. So I'll mark it right there. Now, order from greatest to least. I know the further we go to the right, the greater the values are. So I'm going to put my greatest number out of those two. It's negative 1 and 75 hundredths. And the least is negative 3 and 25 hundredths. So for column 3, farthest right on the number line, looking right up above, I see that it's negative 1 and 75 hundredths. And farthest to the left is negative 3 and 25 hundredths. So that's more or less what you're going to do for this uh, whole chart. But I want to discuss B down here. B says, for each row, describe the relationship between the number in column 3 and its order in column 2. Why is this? So we know in column 3, we're talking about farthest right on the number line. And I can see that my number here, for my example, is showing up as the greatest number. So when I describe the relationship, uh, I'm going to type this one. I'm going to try to at least. And I'll try to get it in here for you so you can see it. And I would say the farther to the right on the number line, the greater the value. Um, more or less meaning that the further to the right I go, the higher the value or the greater the numerical value it's going to have. Um, and kind of going the other direction with it, which helps out with C, is when we look at farther to the left on the number line, the number is going to have a less value. So to summarize, the numbers to the right are higher or have a greater value than the numbers to the left on a number line. Now let's take a look very quickly at page 2 of your homework. And when we go to page 2, I'm going to take a look at specifically question 3. Read each statement and then write a statement relating the opposites of each of the given numbers. So I'll do A. And I'll type this one, just so you can read it. Um, so it says 7 is greater than 6. So I need to write about the opposites of these. So I'm going to say the opposite of 7 is, and I'm looking at the opposite statement too. So greater than is going to go to less than. The opposite of 7 is less than the opposite of 6. So there's my statement and just to show this I'm gonna draw a number line down at the bottom to show my opposite statement to show that it is true. Um, I'll put negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, and then i got to add my 0 in. 
So I'm looking at the opposite of 7, and I know the opposite of 7 is negative 7, because it's the same distance away from 0 on the number line. And the opposite of 6 is negative 6. And I see that 6, or negative 6, is further to the right on the number line than negative 7, which means my statement, the opposite of 7, is less than the opposite of 6, is correct because the further left you go on a number line, the less the value is. I hope this helps, and good luck on your homework.